guys, Crew of Blind Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. And we're here with Wally. And if you're Wally. not impressed by that, it's because you haven't seen Wally. I have yeah. not seen Wally. You haven't seen Wally. Calvin, you've seen Wally? Yep. I saw Wally in 2008 at the movie theater. Same. <laughs> I haven't seen it since. <laughs> Same. But I, it, it stuck with me. I'll, yeah. That's all I'll say before no, we get into it's it. It's definitely a very memorable movie in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. Good. I know very little about him. I know what Wally looks like. He's yeah. like a little tiny Johnny Five. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Uh, and I know there, there's fat people. There are okay. fat people. I'll, yeah. tell you, I'll tell you one thing that it really makes me appreciate this movie, and I'm actually very excited. Uh, there's obviously robots, right? Ben Burt did all the robots, who famously did Star Wars sound effects, right? Oh, okay. R2-D2. All the things that you love about Star Wars nice. sound, Ben Burt did. He worked on, you know, 2005, Revenge of the Sith came out. He told his wife, I will never do robots again. <laughs> Ever. 2006. <laughs> this took him two years to finish. Yep. <laughs> so, I mean, now that I know that information, I'm excited to rewatch. That's excited cool. Excited for you guys to watch with us, but mostly I'm excited for Rick to watch it for the first time. Uh, we're going to be having the highlight right here on YouTube, but if that's not enough for you, you want to check out the full-length reaction, you can. There's a link down in the description mm -hmm. and the pinned comment. If you're a patron over at patreon.com slash blindwave, you can check out the entire reaction along with us and everything else that we do, which is considerable. It's a lot. So. And this movie was chosen by the patrons yeah. on a poll over there as well. So if you want to say on the movie that comes out every other week, that's how. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start uh, with Rick. Say it. Wally! We'll have you do that at the end. Mm -hmm. Ah. Beautiful Earth. That's <laughs> <laughs> how I feel with my house sometimes. <laughs> like, it's just too much. Nothing I do is going to make it better. Why does he have a lunchbox? Is he a pet cockroach? He's a blue collar worker. I have a lunchbox. Guess so. And he's very good at his job. <laughs> very dedicated. But Norman is like a team. Big and large. Oh, by and large. Damn, it's not like Chuck. Well, by and large. Look at that ultra store. Look at the stack of that hamburger. The future is bright. Oh, he did. Well, he just passed away. Huh. Like actors. Actor. Who was it? Uh, Fred Willard. That sounds right. Yeah. His little buddies, is he the last one? I am the last I one. I am the last one. <laughs> Thought to. <laughs> New treads. <laughs> Too much garbage in your face? There's plenty of space out in space. It's a good slogan. You know what? I pat myself on the back after to come up with that one. You would do well at the big and large store. The jewel of the B&L fleet, the Axiom. Spend your five-year cruise in style. Waited on 24 hours. Remind me of Ratchet and Clank. While your captain and autopilot turn a course for non-stop entertainment. First time Pixar ever did live action. Oh. Even Grandma can join the fun. Even Grandma. <laughs> I hope they paid the Roddenberry estate for that one. <laughs> Damn. Waste Just allocation needed. load lifter. Thought he whistled at that toaster. Like, it was his <laughs> hey, <-up> poster. baby. <laughs> I don't know what Wally's are into. Look at that iPad. Oh, dude, I do this with my Game Boy. With the magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With the lights? Uh-huh. This is his lunch. His favorite things. Calvin, you didn't have public school, but that's a spork. 
I know what a spork is. They're the worst thing ever made. That's all I knew for... Damn. Until I graduated high school. <laughs> so many zippos. <laughs> <laughs> I had an uncle like that. He's people. Doesn't have a lot to occupy himself. Shaking the dust. Out. Man, that's fast. <laughs> he's got to finish. He's got his program steps, and he's got to follow them. Get in here. He's a cockroach. He'll be fine. He survived this long. Yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking hate it when you're trying to slip a slipper on and it keeps sliding away from you. Like under a table or something. Uh. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> the windows. The windows, out. yeah. Yeah. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> He's fine. He's <laughs> 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 I love that. That movement was perfect, too. It's like Ariel collecting his yeah. thingamajiggets. <laughs> you like Man, the I was the same way as a kid. <laughs> uh Life finds a way. Oh. Hope he just has laser eyes. This is a cool thing. <laughs> My cool thing box. He does have laser eyes. <laughs> Don't be like a cat, Wally. He's curious. They're gonna get you. <laughs> Sounded like a uh the robot with light features though, right? You should know what light is. He's very specific functions. And a long time has passed, he's learned things, but not a lot of things. Scanning the planet. LiDAR. Or he's in a battle royale. <laughs> yeah, to... We're losing room. A ship. Oh. It's Independence Day, motherfucker. Stick. <laughs> it's not a bad tragedy. Hey, it looks like he's been there a while. Yeah. like something from Aperture Science. Yeah. It's the iPhone version. It was designed by an Apple person who I, wanted that feeling. I can tell. <laughs> yeah. There's the android. Yeah. Hmm. That whole big ship just to drop off that little guy. <laughs> I just love this panic dig. I want to put that in my box. <laughs> <laughs> what is this mission? The Blaster Boy? He 
Yeah. <laughs> I love that cutaway shot. <laughs> Shot first and ask questions later. <laughs> Robocop. He's alright. I love that the, the camera, camera made, zoom is the amazing. camera had to be like, oh, I can't get it. Yeah. yeah. Clean that up. Right? <laughs> we'll get someone to clean that up. I'm the one that has to clean that up. Stuff is dusty. Convinced that that's how they made the sound of his tracks going. Yeah. I just I love the things that he <laughs> finds fascinating. Yeah. That is hat. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Steve, stop! By the zippos. Don't do it. <laughs> For life. She's scheduled for pickup now. Might want to move her. Not to be lonely. She probably just needs some time in the sun. There we go. Get her son. Looks so sludgy. Technology that survived. Cockroach will survive the vacuum of space. <laughs> Ooh, 
<laughs> I love this shot. This shot's crazy. A strong grip. Already charged. <laughs> they call it the Axiom, right? Yeah. It sounded like it's gonna go into the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves music for a second. Yeah, a little bit, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of that on you, Wally. I love how so much of the robot sound relies on like beats and precision. That's all I've seen of this movie. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, the beach. How do they even bother going places? <laughs> <laughs> Why do we? I guess, yeah. Oh, hey, I see the ship's log is showing that today is our 700th anniversary of our five-year cruise. Well, I'm sure <laughs> our forefathers would be proud to know that 700 years later we'd be doing the exact same thing they were doing. Just Gilligan's Island, huh? Be sure next mealtime to ask for your free Septuwa Centennial Cupcake in a cup. Wow, look at that. Also today we have Whose a... voice is uh, that? Hey, hey, Otto, what's that flashing button? I don't know my phone, I can't look it up. Jeff Garland. Yep, it is. Now that Earth has been restored to a life-sustaining status, my golly, we can begin Operation Recolonize. <laughs> I thought for sure they were just gonna, like, continue to nuke the Earth so people have to stay here. Manuel, relay instructions. Manuel. <laughs> I love the steering ship design. E <laughs> Step one. Voice command. Confirm acquisition. Confirm acquisition. Voice authorization required. Uh, uh. Except. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. 
cinnamon rose memory is faulty. So then we're not going there. Negative. I guess things go back to normal, huh? Correct, Captain. Well, false alarm. False alarm. <laughs> Must be defective. Ah. Gopher, send her the repair ward. And uh, have them run diagnostics on her, make sure she's not melting. Hey! He loves waving now. <laughs> the surface of the world is distinct from the sky or sea. The fine sea. <laughs> well, he certainly has his curiosity. Yep. Way back here on the ass end of the ship. <laughs> this guy's still going. <laughs> I love how angry he is. He's only just gotten to this. <laughs> uh. Yeah, hopefully Wally will be cleaned and we'll have to worry about it anymore. Eve looks so annoyed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it disabled itself. <laughs> Looks like she's being tortured. <laughs> the Wally. He does have a laser. Yeah, he does. He used it uh, earlier. And it's right cold. Right between his eyes. Chaos. <laughs> Thank you, our hero. <laughs> <laughs> he still has the gun. No. It's always the time, Rick. <laughs> Before he just he didn't, you know. You gotta take a chance. So <laughs> they don't want no plants. Well, not good for business. Twenty seconds to self-destruct. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> 
Cockroach of robots. <laughs> oh my God. Did the plant survive? It's probably inside of him, right? Mommy. Here's how these work. Rest. Don't let it freeze. Right? Yes. Directive. Oh, he loves it. So Gosh! about animation, they can just find beauty in so many things. Yeah. Stop fucking around! <laughs> <laughs> He's gone too deep in the goop. <laughs> Getting most of it. Yep. Don't lock the door on him. No. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. That was definitely pit droid noises. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like it. Yeah. I didn't know we had a pool. Oh, no splashing. No diving. No. Oh, no. <laughs> he killed it. He's just trying to do his yeah. job. Like the people at the Waffle House. You should know what you're signing up for when you apply. <laughs> they know exactly what they're signing up for. Brawls! <laughs> Every Now's day. the time, Wally. It's always the time. Oh. How did you find it? <gasps> Put it back on. I just love that one poster. <laughs> you can't fly. <laughs> He's tenacious. I suppose so. <laughs> you seen those piles back on Earth? 700 years of Wally work. There were other Wallys. There were. They just didn't last. <laughs> I love the motion blur on that guy. There you go, little guy. You came a long way for a drink of water. Just need someone to look after you, that's all. Like Earth. It's probably better without you.
We have to go back! <laughs> Rick, I love that you do that to me now. This predated that, right? 2008? Yeah, probably. Vibes. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, a little bit. Wait a minute. Computer, what was that message sent out to the Axiom? Message received in the year 2110. That's, uh, that's nearly 700 years ago. I don't think they've changed. We've got to go back. We have to go back. We have to go back. I'm the captain of the Axiom. We are going home today. <clears throat> hey! That, 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 oh, this is mutiny! Eve, arrest him! <laughs> Eve, you were to put this plant straight in the hollow detector. Psych! No! It's okay, Wally's coming that way. I would have shot go for anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Mutiny! Big Wally. No, oh, no, keep that away from the plant. <laughs> He's made a friend. 
<laughs> it's a new cockroach. <laughs> the anti cockroach. Oh. <laughs> 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 yes, get him! <laughs> oh. oh. Massage! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I got, Otto! Not possible. <laughs> That's right! The plant! Oh, you want it? Come and get it, Billy Kane. No. Oh. You. Ah. Some human yeah. imagination, buddy. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> He's awake! Oh. Oh. Damn! <laughs> so close! <laughs> Good job, buddy. He rolls with the punches. It's terrifying. That's terrifying. <laughs> the, sa the sound. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> that one got on the Titanic. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> crowd crush. I just crushed crush. Crowd crush. crush. <laughs> Get hold on to that spaceship. It's pretty strong. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Off switch. Oh my god! <laughs> <The babies. laughs> They're like a bunch of ice cubes! Oh no! Get it, Mo. <laughs> okay, good. Yes, umbrella. Plant origin verified. Ten seconds to hyper jump. Nine, eight. No, buckle up. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, they're all dead. Unless this is artificial gravity, which there seems to be, then all the rules are broken. I suppose. I just been waiting. I'm gonna get this fucking 
thing. Get it. Oh, it's moving. That is a much bigger ship. Yeah. <laughs> Man, she's fast. Godspeed. Yeah, are gnomes. This is his Wally, though. Yeah. <laughs> I love that so much. It's the opposite of Piccolo. Yeah. It is. Factory default. It's cool stuff. That's the same. <laughs> <laughs> Zap. <laughs> Test of strength. A wingman, yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. This is called farming. You kids are gonna grow all kinds of plants, vegetable plants, pizza plants. Oh, he's doing his best. Many of you won't survive this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna install this ship. But your kids might not. No. Yeah, they have food replicators. They, just, they have a lot of hard work ahead. They do. Look at that. Yeah, they've been gone a bit. Yeah. Shocking! In 700 years, all of those satellites have not just come down. Crashed Earth, yeah. This is one of my favorite Pixar credit sequences. Yeah. All right, that was. <laughs> Wally. Wally. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Wally. Wally. No, that was pretty good. Very cute. Very yeah. cute. Charming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A good, uh, I mean, you know, it's a movie we need in 2008 that we didn't listen to. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when well, we could have done something about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it, um, uh, a long, long time ago, I heard an interview with, um, like, one of the creators of Pixar, mm -hmm. and he was introducing uh, Studio Ghibli like movie marathon on Turner Classic Movies. Huh. He was talking about like how influential they were to him. Absolutely, I definitely and how his that. favorite film is Laputa. Yeah. And I see a lot of that in this. Mm -hmm. um, I see Laputa, I see uh, Nausicaa in the Valley of the Wind that mm -hmm. sort of like focus on environmentalism mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. things like that. Um, like this is a kids movie, I feel like this one's pretty heavy handed. Yeah, I'll say stuff. so. Sure. Um, like I prefer more mature take like I think kids can handle that mm -hmm. um, but I, I still liked it yeah me too I mean the, the things that I'm a fan of this and it's a it's a fantastic second watch years later yeah but the things that I enjoyed I think more this watch than I did back then is the idea of purpose right 
humanity is so comfortable they have no purpose here. Sure. But Eve has purpose. Wally Eve has, has purpose. directive. <laughs> yeah. Wally's purpose is useless. It's not going to work. Yeah. But he is able, because, you know, it's just like what we do, right? We see our parents, and some of us see our parents that have a partner and are in love and married, and you go, oh, I should do that, you know? So Wally sees someone that's dancing and in love, and he's like, oh, I should do that. He doesn't have a purpose because his is all is pretty much useless. Well, I mean, but I like, love that. I love that his purpose becomes Eve's purpose. Their and purpose that saves humanity. It's predetermined. It's set for them. Yeah. Right. Because exactly. They're robots. Yeah. And like in theory, they shouldn't be able to change that, but they kind of do and grow into it, and humanity refines theirs. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, I can't remember the name of the person, but you know, the, the point of the movie is, or whoever created the movie, the quote is, "Irrational love saves everything." Sure. Not just love, irrational love. It doesn't make sense why it happens. It just happens, right? Whenever we, as people, try to value things and, you know, we go, you know, we have like the trolley problem. It's like we're trying to value human life over human life. But if your kid's on that trolley, it's a lot easier for me to make the decision because I love them, you know? And I don't care about the rationality. It's just what you want to do. Wally just loves Eve. And I love... I love when Eve gets to see Wally's days when she was asleep. That's always one of my favorite parts of no, that's very of stories, touching. But seeing like yeah. all the sacrifices he made, yeah, for her, yeah. Uh, I kind of figured it would go like anti-capitalism, mm-hmm. in that like the ship is keeping them away yeah. because of profits or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's just yeah, the Earth's fucked. Like. It's not so much anti-capitalism as it is late-stage capitalism, where it's like, I see the goal, but the end game might not be what's great for us. Getting there is great. Yeah. The end game, not so much. Yeah. And then we literally, man, had to wrestle machine. <laughs> <laughs> he had to learn to walk again. <laughs> no, I really like uh, the wheel design of him. Oh, like yeah. The captain's Auto. wheel. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's finally able to take control and, like, steer the ship. It's really cool. Yeah, like there's a lot of how in there. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, yeah, absolutely. But, but uh, I do like the wheel metaphor. Mm-hmm. I'm, I the design is all great, but I, again, I have to put it at the feet of Ben Burt in terms of sound design, mm. sound, like having entire emotional scenes where no one's actually speaking. It's pretty fantastic, and it, you have to have like a master. Like Pixar begged him. Yeah, like I'm not going to do this. Like we, hey, no, nope, we can go to no one else. You're the one that can do this. <laughs> yeah. I forget what short circuit a Disney movie. I don't remember. I, I think there's a now. lot of his design, Johnny Fives and Wally. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, yeah. I wonder if that was an influence, or if there's yeah. something that predates them, mm-hmm. or what exactly. But I think, um, I mean, Wally's very expressive here, but I think Johnny is a little more because of the eyebrows, especially. Yeah, it's just so much more tactile yeah. to being live action. Uh, I think that the strength of Wally is shown when. He doesn't have his fire, his soul, and it's just complete, you know, robotic. That really highlights, by contrast, all the little tiny details they do to make him look like he's thinking. Mm-hmm. But I, I agree. I mean, it's just the, you know, we still have that level of separation. This, The weirdest thing about this movie, which I kind of like because it's so weird, is we were live action. Yeah. And then in going into animation, we lost our humanity. <laughs> That's kind of interesting, right? Like, that's... Some people... I know others that are completely different. Some people are like, ah, animation, I can't feel that. But others are like, animation, I do feel that. But this one's taking the kind of, like, line of... When you take away the real, you're left with out that purpose. Mm-hmm. I think it's a... I think it's a cool idea. Like, watching it is weird. Yeah. Right? Like, seeing the middle between light, <laughs> you know, real life and, and animation. It's like... When you get an Animorphs book and, like, that one doesn't look cool. That one does. You know what I'm talking about, yeah. man. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's not like a Roger Rabbit where they're really blending them together. Yeah. It's kind of like they're distinct and separate, Yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't dwell on the transition a whole lot, which mm-hmm. I think it, it serves it okay. Yeah. No, I, you know, storyline, like you said, I mean, it can be heavy-handed. I think that stuff like this needs to be heavy-handed because we watch this thing and we're like, ah, okay, oh, great, and we go throw this in the landfill and, you know, <laughs> yeah. nothing changes, you know? Sure. I like a movie that, when I'm done with it, it at least changes me for the next three days. Wally, I felt like, did that for me. Yeah. 
Definitely. It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, yeah. Weirdly enough, Click. Have you guys ever seen Click? I have not seen Click. Every time I... I watch Click, I'm always like, I'm going to change my life. <laughs> I love Click. <laughs> I've heard it's like Adam Sandler's best movie. Yeah, it's one of them. I would put the uh, his, one of his newer movies, the uh, uh, Dirty Gems, or what was it called? Uh, Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems. I watched yeah. that, and that's kind of a like a mini masterpiece. I, I really love that movie. Click is a lot more commercial, but I think it... I mean, it's, the message yeah, is there. Right? It's got a wonderful life feeling to it. I get that with all Miyazaki's movies. Yeah, where like I watch them and be like, "Yep, I need to. Yep, I need to be better." I just watched Princess yeah. Mononoke okay, again. <laughs> you know, uh, I like that Sigourney Weaver is her Galaxy Quest character. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> computer. <laughs> she, she repeats the computer. <laughs> So that was fun. 2008. I'm trying to put my mind back into 2008. I'm like, yeah, that's when the my frames of references were so dumb. That's when the Clone Wars movie came out. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be the year after I graduated high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of phone did you have in 2008? I would have had a Nokia. Yeah, I think probably not something that you spent all your time in front of. And as the years have gone by, I'm more and more. Getting that, you know, in front of my face. No, I mean, I've always, like, I've spent my whole life in front of a screen, yeah. pretty much. Um, it's just the screens are a little different now. And they have screens been. are better. <laughs> yeah, it's a real reversal in my life where before I lived on my own and I lived on the farm, like, all of that stuff was my was the work I had to do, and then to have fun with screens and games and television shows. And now, my work is screens and, and shows, television sure. shows, and my free time is like, I want to go do something. I want purpose. I want to go build a fort That's in the not, woods. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I'd just go on a walk or even just work outside, make an excuse. Like, that stuff is more and more rewarding. Granted, I ran my eye into a tree, and it hurts, you know? Whereas Otto, he takes care of you. Sure. You don't go to the pool, but it's there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I like the uh, the very heavy-handed commentary on what is comfortable and what it means to be a, a steward, right? Like those steward bots were going around taking care of things, but we're the stewards of the planet. And sure. the captain realizes that, right? Yeah. Captain Planet's in the corner crying. We just let him down. I know. It's going to take a lot of work. But we have an army of robots to help us. Yeah. That's the big difference, right? Yeah, and who knows what all technology is on that ship. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm if sure. they're sustained for 700 years, yeah. I'm sure they'll be just fine. Yeah. I mean, it's they, not like Senku. They had enough resources <laughs> sure. on the ship that they could just throw trash away. Like, that is a that sure. is a, a complete waste when you're in space for 700 years. Like, yeah, they're not they recycling mining? the materials, so where are they getting exactly. new things? They haven't learned at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming the nebula that they chose was rich in resources, you know? Yeah. I mean, maybe, um, but nebulas are gaseous, mostly. True. Also, I, I didn't really catch it last time, but when they go back to the uh, Axiom, they're traveling normally. Yeah, and then when they go back to Earth, they warp. There. They warp. They so warp. how long yeah. were those robots going there? Like, does Eve like having the plant in the system? Did it put it in some type of space? Like, I wonder how long it's been. Sure. Like, what if it took fifty years to get there? And sure, no. That way, when you come back to Earth, there's a lot more plants that Wally. Yeah. It's not like I mean, it's not like Wally didn't go on the other side of the city. He like, missed it all. <laughs> like, was there a new cap? Was there an old captain? Yeah. When, in between. When, yeah. When Eve first got yeah. there. Yeah. Or when she was sent. It's yeah, I never really considered. Like it could have been an ages. issue. Yeah, and it also like we don't know how long Wally was hanging on to the outside of that ship, looking at all those things while they were traveling and stuff. That could have been a long time. Could have been a long time that she was powered off, waiting for that ship to come back. Well, just yeah, how long it would take to get to the sun, which they went to. Yeah, and then they went past that to who knows where. It takes. Yeah, like eight and a half minutes for light to get here <laughs> from there. And they went past it. <laughs> right? The other side of the galaxy. <laughs> yeah. But I did like um, Wally Man. I'm trying to think of the example. I had it watching the movie, but now it's gone. Where, like, basically he touches people and wakes them up. Oh, like The Matrix. Yeah. Yeah. Right? 
mm-hmm. who were like they're in this reality, and then he just interacts with them, and that's just enough to break them out and yeah. make them see the world around them. They're out of their cycle and away from their screen, and it's like, whoa, we have a pool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Pixar will not go this far, but there are implications to this, like. How do they reproduce? Yeah, yeah. I don't think they're it, doing it, it the old-fashioned. It certainly seemed one. like there were test tube babies, yeah. or something going mm-hmm. on. So, like, we don't show it, but at night when everybody goes to bed, they're jerking everyone off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, they probably are. They're sticking needles in their yeah. balls and just. We didn't see those robots. Ah! We didn't see that purpose, <laughs> that directive. You know. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, because they said like population is the same. So it seems like they strictly control the number of people. Well, yeah, they don't want to be overpopulated when. There was one person at the end, I didn't notice it the first time I watched it, but uh, it was an old woman with, like, a walker bot yeah, walking out on the ramp. So, like, they must be, like, turning those chairs around, like, Mm -hmm. pretty frequently. Yeah. Yeah. 700 years. I mean, they had a pretty diverse group of humans, too. I just, I I have to wonder, B&L selection product, because that's a huge ship, but it's not 7 billion. Yeah. No, they left a lot of people behind. There were other ships too. Were there in in like the? Yeah, you're right. The Axiom was like the the mothership yeah. of like all the other. It was like uh, the Ark mm-hmm. cruisers the, or whatever. Yeah, the cruise liner. Yeah, right. But yeah, so yeah, I don't know whether like they go back to Earth and like the Axiom sends off mm-hmm. a signal to the other ones and they all come as well, or or whether they have to go out and find them and bring them back because their autos are doing the same yeah. shit. I don't know. But, yeah, it's cool. What's the, uh, I'm always curious about this, especially Pixar, because I feel like they're really good. What's, do you know what the definition of axiom is? Axiom. Axiom. I can uh, make it up. I completely understand that word, but I cannot tell you what it means. It sounds like axiom. Axiom is, when I think about it, it's like... Different, right? Reliable or always there? Axiom. The axiom of something. Uh, a statement or proposition which is regarded as being established, accepted, or self-evidently true. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So it is the same. Okay. Yeah. Self-evidently true. Like you can take it for granted. Yeah. In mathematics, it's a statement or proposition on which an abstractly defined structure is based. So it's an axiom that's like a rule that is true. Yeah. Like or one plus one or equals per- two is an axiom. That all other mathematics is based sure. on. Supply equals demand. Yeah. I wonder if there's a, you know, in naming it, you know, the ship that, if there's a deeper meaning in that, uh, well, maybe there's something that you perceive to be true, right? Not necessarily is true. Like, the old reliable ship is going to take care of you from birth till death. And you never question it. You never think of it. You just watch your screen. Yeah, sure. I don't know why they're going places. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know? It's probably, I mean, partially the fact that, like, oh, these corporations are built to, like, serve a purpose yeah. and to make our lives better and stuff like that when actually it's just to make money. Sure. And to and I, have more ways to make money off of us. And, yeah. And I suppose this, over the 700 years, it happened in a lot of stages, right? Like, the one Mary, when she wakes up, she's like, oh, my God, and she's looking. But most of it's advertisements, but that means that no one looks at the advertisements. So sure. why are they there? Because they used to have a function, I guess, yeah. right? It's like a vestigial bone mm-hmm. that just around. That's interesting. I'm thinking about that. And it's like the monkey's paw of, like, what do you really want? Like, do you yeah. really want that? Like, do you really want yeah, to do have you want no safety? effort in your life? Mm-hmm. Do you want security? Well, that means that, you know, there's no free will then. Sure. Because someone could make the decision to try and hurt you. Mm-hmm. And you can't have that. Yeah. No, I get you. That's why, like, when I think of equity, I think about that in terms of morality, but not necessarily reality. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned it well, as it was happening, but I, I do love the after credit, not after credit, but the credit sequence of this. I love the uh, telling of what happened the new history with the style of old history. Yeah, right? it goes yeah. through from ancient cave paintings mm-hmm. to like Greek art. And then it eventually ends up in kind of like its own thing, its own beauty. Yeah, we yep. get Van Gogh. Because mm-hmm. yeah, I assume like they're not creating much art. Because like that would be the ideal, right? Where you take care of everyone's needs mm-hmm. and then now they're allowed to be creative. Yeah. And like create things that aren't for 
profit necessarily. Yeah. yeah, it seemed like the screen that they had was all about stimulus and all about just keeping your attention, well, not necessarily creation. Yeah, that's that's this to a T. True. I like, mean, marketing companies yeah. spend millions of dollars researching how they can grab people's attention and keep it. That's true. A hundred percent. Monopolizing your time is is yeah. worth so much money. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. But what else can you do with it? You can translate shoot, things. You can shoot video. You yeah. can take pictures. You can edit these no, videos. Exactly. You can make a story out of that thing too. You know, so. Mm-hmm. We don't need we don't demonize the tools, but we do need to think about how we use them. Just like the planet. Yep. Indeed. No. Yeah. The planet isn't wrong. No. It's just reacting to outside stimulus. I bet the planet's like, man, I'm finally getting cleaned up my shit together. It sees the humans coming back. No. Uh, oh yeah, seven hundred years is nothing. And that planet will be fine in a million years. And a million years is nothing. Yeah. <laughs> the planet is like it's crazy to think about. You know, just the, the passage of time and how we as humans are so egotistical that we only think in those terms. 700 years in the world. Come back and save the planet. Captain, the planet's going to be fine. It probably doesn't want us. Yeah. I mean, they had the idea that they would send everyone away so yeah. they had the space to work and everything yeah. and clean it up in five years. Sure, right? And that didn't happen. Yeah, like the concept of America dominates so much of our lives, but that did not exist 300 years ago. At all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we should say that as Americans, we think about everybody thinks about themselves. But sure, <laughs> I'm yeah. sure there's other people out there like who cares, Americans? But I'm sure yeah, I always they've uh, heard it enough. You know, whenever we say destroy the planet, we're not going to destroy the planet. The planet's too big. Yeah, but just talking about our our, our thin, little tiny small <laughs> part might get shed. <laughs> the Goldilocks zone could be destroyed. Yeah, for us. <laughs> But cockroaches will continue on. Yeah. Oh, man. What's the name of that comedian? Who's the older comedian that he's dead now? George Carlin. Jo- exactly. Carl- George Carlin. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, older you comedian. Did you he's did. The first well, when I, I didn't say, like, you know, I should have said one of the best comedians of all time, and you would have got it too, but he has that exact bit where it's like, Earth is fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're the ones who are fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I quite liked it. Me too. Yeah, I, I, we've had two really good Pixar movies in a row. Yeah, yeah definitely. So, and uh, I uh, trying to think like, oh, why have I never rewatched this? I really should have. <laughs> yeah, I'll rewatch it again. Yeah, be like, all right. So, two thousand eight, I watched it. Has things gotten better or worse since it came out? <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> it's 2023 now. I'll watch it again in like five more years or yeah. whatever. We'll see. It's been we'll see. 15. Are we optimistic? 15 years ago. Yeah, 15 years ago this came out. That's crazy because I remember watching in theaters being like, damn, that looks real. Look at his hands. It looks like metal. But now when I watch it, I'm like, yeah, animation. You know, yeah. this is what it is. We watch Bad Batch and it looks... But if you showed this to someone 50 years ago, you know, oh, yeah. they would be like, oh, sure. I'm hallucinating. Did you go to space You're and a film? wizard. Ah! Yeah. Guys, thank you very much for watching Wally with us. And again, make sure you, if you want to check out the full length reaction down in the description of the pinned comment. And we'll be back with more movies next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Wally. Wally. Yeah.